Shadada. Lift your hands. Anybody ready for something? Lord, I'm hungry. Anybody ready? 
Jesus. One, two, three. You scream, I receive. That's right. And there will be eruptions everywhere. Unclean spirits will check out. Afflictions will disappear. Chains will be broken. Or anything that my father has not planted in your life shall be dismantled. And above all, fresh graces, fresh mantles, fresh releases will come upon you. Are you ready? Lift your hands. Father, let mount the mantles fall. Let fresh fire fall. Let the oil draw. Let the hand of the Lord be released. In the name of Jesus, one. the wonders oh lord emanating from the command in the day midnight prayer platform thank you oh lord for the signs the wonders the miracles lord be thou glorified father we thank you tonight for the just concluded service the power communion service thank you for all you did oh lord thank you oh lord for the richness of your word lord in the name of jesus and lord tonight we ask that you continue with us come and escalate your words tonight in the midst of your people Lord, in the name of Jesus, we pray. Jeremiah 23 and in verse 24. The Bible says, Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him? Say the Lord. Do not I feel heaven and earth? Say the Lord. Lift up your voice tonight, Lord. You are omniscience, Lord. You are all knowing. Father, we ask that you unveil. Father, we ask that you reveal secrets, oh Lord. Father, we ask that you dissolve secrets tonight, Lord. In the name of Jesus, and scatter every agenda of the enemy in the lives of your people tonight night lord in jesus mighty name we pray and tonight we ask over the life of your servant that you help him mightily carry him on the wings of your spirit lord and grant him utterance tonight in jesus mighty name we have prayed clap your hands so you people you believe the lord has heard us tonight thank you lord Please kindly wake someone and God bless you. And remind them that it is time for commanding the day, midnight prayer. And God bless you once more. Let's receive the praise him to take us further in the session. Oh, this guy. 
Somebody shout a louder hallelujah. Can you give the Lord a big clap offering and then you take your seat in heavenly places? It is commanding the day, midnight prayer session. Please wake up somebody. Make sure you text somebody. Make sure you wake up your friends and let them know it is time to command the day. We are going into testimony session right now. This testimony is from Obon Aketrin. She goes here from Lagos. Above only, that is my place. I have come to return all the glory to this great God of Dr. Pastor Paul 
and Dr. Mrs. Becky Enenche. Indeed, God is great. I have been suffering from hormonal imbalance, which resulted in irregular, irregular menses. I have, been, I have been to different hospitals. I have taken different medications, but to no avail. Since I started connecting, the, connecting to commanding the day midnight prayer, God has regulated my menses since January until date. It has been flowing normally. So I have come like that one leper to say, thank you, Jesus. I am sure I will come back for other testimonies in Jesus' name. Amen. Testimony from Miss Edna from National State. Above only, that is my place. Good morning, commanding the day, uh, commanding the day uh, family. Indeed, God answered prayers. Sometime this year in January, I applied for a job in a particular company. Unfortunately, I was not called for an interview. I applied to another place and still experienced the same thing. I became so worried, but I never gave up trusting God for a miracle. During the worship and wonders night, Pastor declared, "One of the gifts of God is going to one, one of the gifts God is going to give His people in this month of April is miracle jobs." I claimed it with faith. On the first day of April, Pastor gave the same prophecy again. I shouted a big amen. So this morning, about 11 a.m., I received a call from one of the one of the companies I applied to calling me for an interview. I was so surprised because even when I, I was saying amen to all the prayers and declarations, I didn't know it would come this easily. Now, the miracle is here. I went for the interview. The manager told me, and, and I caught, we couldn't find the credentials you submitted for the interview. But someone gave us your name for the interview. And he said, and, he, and he, he also told me that many people applied for the job, but the company only needed two people. He asked me when it was okay for me to start the work. I quickly answered, tomorrow, sir. Hey, thank you, Jesus. I am grateful. God bless you all. What of you, won't you start tomorrow if you have been looking for a job for a long time? In the name of Jesus, God is going to give you a miracle that will, you will step into tomorrow. In the name of Jesus, give the Lord a pray. Amen and amen. Please ensure again someone is connected, commanding the day midnight prayer. Let's take the next testimony. Our next testimony is from Lillian from Abuja. And she said, greetings everyone. I have come to give back the glory to God for all he has been doing for me since December 2023. First, in January, my cousin was kidnapped and I brought it um, to the command the day midnight prayer altar. In one of the nights, pastor made a declaration that anyone kidnapped is hereby released. That same morning, he was released. Just like that, without a scratch. Secondly, I was believing God. Yes, give Jesus a big hand of praise. Secondly, I was believing God for success in my exams, which I took last year. I pray that God should make me have all A's in all my courses. And boom! My God came through just the way I prayed. The results were all A's with a GPA, grade point average, of 5.0 in my second semester. Thirdly, my father, who has been sick since last year, is doing well as his um, prostate-specific antigen test level went from 10.4 to 3.4, just as I prayed and believed God to do it, and um, he did. One of the days of the Commander Demina prayer, Pastor also declared that everyone on catheter hereby discontinues the use. I keyed into it, and today my father is off it. Lastly, God has been faithful in providing for my family, and I'm financially in for my family and I, financially and otherwise. He has not allowed us to have any form of financial embarrassment. For all this and more. I have come to give God all the glory for he alone did it. God bless you, sir, and Ma, and the Command the Day Midnight Prayer Crew for all the sacrifices you make daily. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. God will give you your testimony in Jesus' precious name. 
Lastly, in this segment, Brother Richard from Abuja. And he said, above only, that's my place. Calvary greetings, sir and ma, and to the entire members and crew of the Command of the Midnight Prayer. I was introduced to this prayer platform by my wife in November 2023. And ever since, I've been an ardent follower of this great commission. For the first time in my entire life, I got a conviction that I'm on the right um, mountain to commune with God. Amazing. And my prayer life has been electrified. That is uh, invigorated. Prior to, um, prior to the night of new openings in career and endeavor, in, on the 22nd stroke 23rd of February, I had reminded God that I can't ask him for bread and receive stones. I've yearned for divine intervention in situations surrounding my life and for God's servant to mention my case with a conviction. Before now, my life has been characterized by lack, scarcity, walking like an elephant and eating like an ant. Hey, hey, mercy found me. Just after the personal supplication, Pastor Paul Enenche called my name and mentioned my situation. He said, and I quote, the embargo is lifted. Everyone who placed an embargo on your life, the embargo is lifted. There is a rich, like a Richard, the embargo is lifted off your life. The enemy cannot rob you with the garment of wretchedness, empty-handedness, and struggling to survive. Hey, hey, I'm that particular Richard with a dental condition on the right molar. Immediately, I had pastor call my name. I went on my knees, my eyes filled with tears. Indeed, for over 10 years, I'd experienced next success, near success syndrome, failure at the edge of breakthrough, also been struggling for, to survive. Once has the Lord spoken, twice have I heard. In a single night, God gave me a sign that the embargo is indeed lifted. I have returned like that one leper to glorify God at work in Dunamis. I shall return with mega testimonies. Amen. Let's have the declarations. The embargo is lifted. The embargo is lifted. Everyone who placed an embargo on your life, the embargo is lifted. There is a, a ICH in the name like a rich and rich man, they say. It's a rich inside the name. Leko parata kasakata kalakate kasako kota kalakate kasako. Yakoko palaya. The embargo is lifted. The embargo is lifted off your life. The enemy cannot rob you with the garment of wretchedness and empty handedness and struggling to survive. I'm talking to several people tonight. I declare today, every embargo placed on your life is struggling to survive. I declare the embargo is lifted. Scarcity, scarcity, shortage, empty and dead is over. Give the Lord a big clap. Let's stand down in front on our feet. Celebrate. Cele celebrate. Somebody shout aloud, hallelujah. 
Praise the Lord. Please, you may be comfortably seated anywhere you are watching tonight. Wake your friend and your neighbor up. Let them know that the commanding the day midnight prayer has begun for today. Let them be part of the prayer. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, prayer band people are here with us. I think today is your third day for the month. And I believe that God is answering our prayers already in the name of Jesus. Let's go ahead and take a few more testimonies. IY from Canada says, good afternoon, everyone. It's a privilege to testify to the goodness of God in his life. The God whom does not know what it means to fail. Earlier this month, senior pastor mentioned his case with some letters that are in his name, uh, rejecting the altar of envy, jealousy, bitterness, and the altar of his father's house, which is absolutely correct. These are what he had been experiencing. In the nine years that he's been in Canada, he has never dreamt of himself in Canada, but always in his father's house and mother's house. And they are both dead, but he keeps seeing them. On the 27th of January, 2024, his word came again. The senior pastor took authority over the attack of jealousy, which he further said, they are resisting and confronting you, saying, you are the, why are you the only one? Why? Why? And he set the altars on fire, saying, the name of the person in question has letters I and S inside. And the person in question uh, inside, brethren, uh, his name is I Iobosa. Yeah. Iobosa. Iobosa. And this is what he's been facing, which makes him to stay away from people because it's just too much. On the 28th of January, 2024, during the declaration, senior pastor said, your name means God helps in your language. And you see the help of, you will see the help of God this week. He shouted, amen. Ola, 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 ola. His name is Yobosa, which means the help of God. For the first time last night, he slept like a baby and he has come to say, thank you, Jesus, for loving him like and his child the way you do to god alone be all the glory declarations attached they take authority over that attack of jealousy that attack of jealousy that has brought a lot of hostility around you a lot of hostility around your family a lot of hostility around you are you the only one why why and they are resisting and confronting you i declare today that altar of jealousy is set on fire let us ask Name starts with an I and it has an S inside also. Leperatas Kokobagalagayase, Leperete Kazakadagala Tarota Sinana, Lekeperota Sakalagada. That altar is broken and you are released. And another one, your name means God will help you. You will see that help this week in the name of Jesus. Give the Lord a big clap and a lot of shout of praise. The same person towards and God is helping him and we are hearing. The massiveness of God's intervention shortly in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's take a look at another one. Anna from Taraba says, Greetings to my commanding the day prayer family. She wants to thank God of Dunamis for accurately putting her word in the mouth of her father in the Lord, Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche. She has been following this prayer since February 2nd, 2024. She was introduced by a colleague who is from the other religion. Wow. <laughs> and she has been trusting God for her word of deliverance. Yesterday, during the commanding the day midnight prayer, 2nd slash 3rd of April, 2024, she was so down emotionally because of the things happening around her. She couldn't even stand up from her bed to join. She was feeling like God had forgotten her. She had been sleeping in this, her colleague's room, just to encourage her to follow consistently. But yesterday, the devil wanted to rob her of her blessings. Her colleague tapped her on the leg, asking, Ie? Ie. Okay, all right, her name is Ie. Ie, you know join today? She calls her Ie because she's married to an Igala man. She just kept quiet and she said again, Abi, you don't tire to the pray? She said no. She noticed she wasn't in the mood, but she sat close to her while praying, and she was partially following from her sleep. And boom, during the declarations, her word came with accuracy. 
the man of God said, this word is for someone from Taraba. Immediately she heard Taraba sleep cleared from her eyes. Her colleague said, Iye, wake up, because she knows that she is from that region. Pastor said, and she quotes, the witchcraft manipulation of your family will not stop you. It will not resist your destiny. You are the only person trying to come up. Every other person has been resisted and resisted into stagnation and resisted into frustration, but you are coming out and shooting out like a star. And they are trying to limit you by the same witchcraft and demonic powers. But he said, I declare the powers have failed. Hey! She shouted, Amen! People of God, this is how she is a commission officer with the Nigerian police force with nothing to show due to challenges here and there. She's the only person with a legitimate work in the whole of the family, in the whole of the family lineage. And she's the youngest. She has suffered so many setbacks and frustrations. She will collect salary today and the next minute she can't account for it. She has cried bitterly asking God why all these things happening to her. Why all these things happening to her. She can't properly take care of her parents the way she wants to. But she believes with this accurate prophecy, she is finally free and delivered in Jesus' name. She merely sowed a seed to back it up and she's coming back with more mega testimonies shortly in Jesus' name. Declaration attached. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, this word is going also to someone in Taraba State. Let us say, Te Dina Galayadada, the witchcraft manipulation of your family will not stop you. It will not resist your destiny. You are the only person trying to come up. Every other person has been resisted and resisted into stagnation and resisted into frustration. But you are coming out, shooting out like a star, and they are trying to limit you by the same witchcraft. And, and, and demonic power, but I declare the power has failed in the name of Jesus Christ. Wow. Wow. Lift up your hands and appreciate Give the Lord, Lord a big clap of hand. Anyone who is a victim of such limitation, the limitation is over in Jesus' name. Amen. Francisca Han Hassan from Bauchi State says, Good day to every member of the Commanding the Day Midnight Prayer. This God is too much. Oh, hey. On the 27th of March, 2024, her husband called and said she should check her WhatsApp, which she did, and it was a dismissal letter from his workplace. She was worried because he's supposed to be promoted by he March. He was, he, was supposed to be promoted. he was supposed to be promoted by March ending. And secondly, they just relocated to Bauchi State, and the business she just started in Bauchi was yet to start yielding. She told her sisters to agree with her during the personal supplication for God's servant. For God's intervention. For God's intervention. On the 27th of March, 2024, during the declaration, the servant of God made a declaration about someone who was suspended from work. She keyed into it, even though her husband was dismissed and not suspended. But what he says to one, he says to all. Hey! Hey! On the 28th of March, that's the very next day, her husband received another email saying he should disregard the first email which contained his dismissal letter. <laughs> Indeed, this God is too good. She has come to return all the glory to God Almighty who has started this good work and she believes that it is, a, it is permanent in Jesus' name. May God continue to bless and strengthen you all for us in Jesus' name, the picture and the declaration is attached. This one is end of employment contract, and this one is email to disregard. Wow. Give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise. In the name of Jesus, and the person I'm talking about seems to have a suspension from your place of work or something. I don't know what it is, but in the name of Jesus, as God brings down this blood pressure, the, you are recalled to your place. In the name of Jesus, somebody shout power. Power. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's take one more testimony. And it says, it's from Krista D. from California in the U.S. She says, good morning, beloved. 
commanding the day midnight prayer family. Hey, God has located her in far away America. She's here to return all the glory to God for the great work he has started in her life through this altar of fire. On Thursday, April 28, 2024, the senior pastor mentioned her case. April or March, or March rather. April 28 hasn't come. March 28. Mm -hmm. March 28. Senior pastor mentioned her case and her location. He talked about Little Rock in the U.S. He also mentioned the name of Orange, whether it's a place or a name of a walk. He said, in the name that is above every other name, the limitations of your life, the manipulations of your destiny, the harassments of your potential, today marks the end of it forever. People of God, Little Rock is in census, is a census-designated area in Los Angeles, Southern California, USA. Then, where she lives is in Orange County, wow. in the same Los Angeles, in Southern California. Wow. She suffered, <laughs> she wow. suffered from limitations in almost every area of her life, career-wise, stagnation, financial limitation, financially wow. limited, and right now nothing is working, including marital manipulations and harassments. She was very gifted and selfless at everything she did, she does, she, she does. But there's nothing she's doing right now in terms of job, despite, despite wow. her qualifications and giftings and abilities. Hmm. She's a master's degree holder, but still doing menial jobs and struggling to survive. She was actually in a three days fast to break these limitations when this word was released. She believes God has remembered her, and this marks the end of her struggle as she's returning with her testimony in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. God bless the senior pastor, our beloved mommy, and the commanding the day, the midnight, the day midnight prayer crew. Declaration attached. How many of you remember that declaration about the Little Rock, Orange County, when God's servant gave it? An amazing everything God's servant says about this lady is exactly what she's passing through. This can only be God. Let's look at the declarations as we appreciate God. Recently in Apple State of America. I know Little Rock, Arkansas. I have heard of it. But I don't know of the orange that is in front of it. Whether it's the name of a place or a name of a walk or a name of anything. I'm talking to someone that this means something to. In the name that is above every name. The limitations of your life. The manipulation of your destiny. The harassment of your potential. Today marks the end of it forever in the name of Jesus. I am sure you are trusting the Lord with this kind of specificity to you in that place where you are. And here it is. Fasted for That's three right. days. And I declare that to that person in Little Rock in Arkansas, get ready for a turnaround and a, and, 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 and a lift in your, in your career, in your, in, your, in your job, a lift, a pay rise. Get ready in, with immediate effect in the name of Jesus Christ. Orange County in Little Rock. Can you stand up on your feet? Was in a three-day fast when God gave this word. Hey. I see somebody's word coming and God is changing your story. Lift your voice and let's celebrate the King of Kings. Let's go. Jehovah, you're my banner of victory at all times. I will trust the never.
Shout the Lord and say amen. Wake your friends, wake your brothers, wake your loved ones, wake your relations and let them know that God is at work here. Psalm 118 and in verse 24. This is the day which the Lord has made. We will rejoice whether the devil likes it or not and be glad in it. Psalm 3 and in verse 5. I laid me down, I slept for the Lord sustained me. We have to, want to thank him for preservation. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father thank, you thank you for this beautiful day, this beautiful day you have made. You have made. Thank, you, thank you, Lord, for the priceless, for the priceless gift, gift of, life of life and preservation. preservation. Be glorified, Be glorified. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' precious name. Psalm 103 and in verse 7, the Bible said that God made known his ways unto Moses and his acts unto the children of Israel. Lift your voice and say after me and say, Father, Father thank, you thank you for showing us, for showing us your, ways your ways and your acts, and your acts. in manifold, in manifold. Testimonies, testimonies, miracles, miracles signs, signs, and wonders, and wonders on this altar to glorify, glorify O oh Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Again, Father, Father thank, you thank you for showing us for your ways and your acts, in manifold, testimonies, miracles, signs, and wonders of this altar to glorify, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Isaiah chapter 8 and in verse 10, the Bible said, take counsel together and it shall come to naught. Speak the word and it shall not stand. For God is with us. Proverbs 19, 21, he said, there are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord that shall stand. Lift your voice and say after me and say, Father, Father we, decree we decree the failure, the failure and, defeat and defeat of every evil, of every evil counsel, counsel or agenda, agenda against your acts and deeds and in our midst. We, we declare they shall not stand, shall not stand in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, Father we, decree we decree the failure, the, failure, the, defeat, the defeat of every evil, of every evil counsel, counsel or agenda, or agenda against your acts and deeds in our midst. We declare they shall not stand in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth pray. Thank <laughs> you. 
In Jesus precious name the Lord has has answered us in Jesus name in the book of first John chapter 4 verse 4 he said you have got little children and have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world John chapter 1 and in verse 12 he said but as many as received him he to them gave he power to become the sons of God even to them that believe on his name you are going to make demands on the power of God as a power of sonship to subdue every power of darkness. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father I, step I step into this new day, this new day as a child, child of God with a mantle, mantle of sonship to bring, to bring into defeat into every oppressor of the enemy. Today, Lord, in the name of Jesus, go on ahead and pray. I step into this new day as a child of God with a mantle of sonship to bring into defeat every oppressor of the enemy. Oh, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, the Lord heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Second Corinthians chapter three and in verse seven. Second Corinthians chapter three and in verse seventeen. Second Corinthians chapter three and in verse seventeen. It says, "Now the Lord is that Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty." Today is you are stepping into liberty, Amen. and every captivity is dissolved. Amen. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father I declare Father, this new day this as, my day, as my, day my day of liberty Father, in the spirit. In the spirit. I, reject I reject every form, every form of captivity. Form of captivity. Today, Lord, Today, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Name of Again, Jesus. Father, Father, I declare this new day this as my day, as my day of, liberty of liberty in the spirit. In the spirit. I, reject I reject every form, every form of, of captivity. captivity. Today, Lord, Today, Lord in the name of in Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus, the Lord heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm 27 and in verse 13, he said, I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Lift your voice after me and say, Father, Father I take full delivery take full of, your of your goodness for me, for me. In, the in the land of the living. Of the living. Today, Today, in the name of, Jesus. The name of Jesus. Again, Father, Father I take full delivery of, delivery of your goodness, of your goodness for, me. for me in this land, in this land of, the of the living. Today, Today in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Go ahead and pray. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
In Jesus precious name. Amen. The Lord heard and answered us in Jesus name. Amen. Isaiah chapter 44 and in verse 26. Isaiah chapter 44 and in verse 26. It says God that confirmed the word of his servant and performed the counsel of his messengers that said to Jerusalem thou shalt be inhabited and to the cities of Judah you shall be built and I will raise up the decayed places thereof. He's confirming our words tonight. Say it loud, amen. amen. Lift your voice and say after me. Say, Father, Father we, ask we ask that your words release, release on this prayer altar in supplication, in supplication. Today, today will secure, will secure immediate, immediate response, response for, all for all in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Again, Father, Father we, ask we ask that your words release, release on this prayer altar, altar. Today, today will secure, will secure immediate, immediate response, response for, all for all in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Go ahead and pray. In Jesus' precious name, Amen. You believe the Lord heard and answered us. Shall the Lord say, Amen? Job chapter eleven, verse twenty. Job eleven twenty. But the eyes of the wicked shall fail. And they, and they shall not escape. Amen. Can you say it louder? Amen. Amen. Every wicked man around your life and destiny tonight, they shall not escape. Amen. And their hope shall be as the giving up of the ghost. Amen. Shout the loudest, amen. amen. Say after me and say in prayer and say, Father, Father let the wicked, let the wicked and, their and their wickedness fail, fail in, this in this season. Let their vision, let their, vision, their, expectation, their expectation, and orchestration, and orchestration be, be as the giving, as up, giving up, up of the ghost. Oh Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Again, Father, Father, let the wicked, let the wicked and their wickedness, and wickedness fail, fail in this season. In this season. Let their vision, their vision expectation, 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 and orchestration, orchestration be, be as the giving up of the ghost. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, go ahead and pray. In the name of Jesus, the Lord heard and answered us in Jesus' name. The Bible said, now we are in judgment, Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 24. For the Lord thy God is a consuming fire, even a jealous God. It's a consuming fire, a jealous God. Somebody say amen if you hear this. It's about to consume every altar of evil. For evil report. Amen. Bad news. Amen. Now lift your voice and say, Father, Father we, ask we ask for the release of, of your judgment of, judgment of, fire, of fire on every altar, on every altar of evil, of evil position, position for evil report. For evil report. Bad, news, Bad news, sorrow, sorrow disappointment, 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 failure, failure discouragement, discouragement strain disease, strain disease, or sudden death. Or sudden death. We, declare we declare them roasted, roasted by, the by the fire of the consuming fire. fire. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Again, Father, Father we, ask we ask for the release of your judgment of fire on every altar of evil position. 
or even report bad news, sorrow, disappointment, failure, discouragement, strange disease, or sudden death. We declare them roasted by the fire of the consuming fire. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, go on and pray. pray, pray. In Jesus' precious name, the Lord heard and answered us in Jesus' name. John chapter 1 and in verse 5, he said, The light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Matthew 10, 26, he said, Fear them not therefore, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, and nothing hid that shall not be no. Amen. Every mystery around your life tonight shall be unveiled, Amen. shall be uncovered and dissolved. Amen. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father we, ask we ask for the light, for the light of, your of your word and your spirit, and your spirit to, shine to shine into every dark, every dark hidden, hidden mystery, mystery behind, behind the miseries, the miseries of, your of your people, both to unveil and, and dissolve them. Today, today, in the name of Jesus, again, Father, Father we, ask we ask for the light, for the light of your word and the light of your your spirit, your spirit to shine, to shine into every dark, every dark hidden, mystery hidden mystery that is behind, that is behind the, miseries the miseries of your people, of your people to both unveil, unveil and dissolve, dissolve those mysteries. mysteries. Today, Today, oh Lord, Lord, in the name of Jesus, go ahead, open your mouth up. In Jesus' precious name, Amen. the Lord has heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. Acts chapter 9, verse 34 and 35, and the mysteries are unveiled in Jesus' name. Amen. And Peter said unto him, Aeneas, Jesus Christ maketh thee whole, arise and make thy bed. And he arose immediately. He was all axified. Arose immediately. What, is it, what was the outcome of that miracle? And all that dwelt at Lida and Saron, they saw him and turned to the Lord. All two cities turned to the Lord by one miracle. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father we, ask we ask that you will use, you use your acts in our midst to, to draw multitudes, multitudes cities, cities, nations, nations unto, salvation unto salvation and discipleship and through this altar. Through this altar. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Again, Father, Father, Father we, ask we ask that you will use, you use your acts in our midst to draw multitudes unto salvation and discipleship through this altar. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. In Jesus' precious name, the Lord heard and answered us in Jesus' name. First John chapter 5 and in verse 14, this is the confidence we have in him. 
that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. Lift your voice and say, Father, thank you for answered prayers. Be glorified, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Again, Father, thank you for answered prayers. Be glorified in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and thank you for answered prayers. Let the center for the book in Jesus precious name the Lord heard and answered us in Jesus name give him a big clap and a loud shout of praise and let us celebrate 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 let's worship him celebrate prayer and drink God you are worthy of praise you deserve my praise oh prayer and drink God you are worthy of praise you deserve the highest praise oh prayer A big clap and a loud shout of praise. Blessed be your name. Please be seated. Wake your friends, your loved ones, your relations up as we proceed in taking a couple more testimonies and then going to a personal supplication and then we'll proceed. Leslie E from Europe is testifying. Supernatural promotion. Want to appreciate God for what He has done. The miracle job promotion and opening as prophesied by God's servant has happened for over three years now. I've been due for promotion, but for, for, but for some unknown reasons. My juniors have been promoted and I have been waiting. Just as the pastor mentioned on the 30th of March, commanding the day midnight prayer, a supernatural opening happened at my place of work and four people applied for it. Wow. Before the interview, I was told, the senior manager told those in charge of the interview that he does not want particular skin-colored persons to be promoted because it's a managerial position. And it was obviously in support of a candidate he wanted for the position. I almost lost hope as this is not the first time they have done this at my place of work. However, on the 30th of March, Pastor made decrees as directed by the Lord that this week we will receive from the Lord openings and promotions, paraphrased. I just to see the feedback from the interview congratulating me that I have just been promoted as a new manager. The team, they work, oh, hola, hola, hola. To God be all the glory. Somebody say amen, declaration attached. Someone is stepping into the month of April with celebration. You are celebrating your way into the month of April because, because what you have been expecting is just happening between the junction of March and April. And within that first week, I declare... Leperetes. I see hundreds and thousands of people getting their job later and employment later in the name as the second quarter is started. You are stepping into a new office. You are stepping with a new, into a new employment. You are stepping into a new role. That's stepping right. higher in your assignment. That's right. Hey! hey! Give the Lord the praise. Give the Lord a praise. You are getting a new job. Somebody you are stepping into a new role in the same organization. That's Somebody right. you are stepping into a better, a better organization of the same line of job. And it is happening within these days. Within these days, you step into April with that celebration. Shout the loudest. Amen. Amen. Go ahead and bring it on. We are waiting for your own testimony to happen within the first seven days. Give the Lord the praise. Let's go. Sister Nene from USA. Indeed, this God is to be trusted. I want to testify for all to know how real and powerful God's word is. And also from the mouth of his servant, Dr. Paul Enenchi. I live in the U.S. and I work for a company owned by a Nigerian and Filipino. I started working in December 2023 because of their habit of owing salaries. Wow, even in America. 
Nigeria and Filipino combined. They refused to pay me <laughs> for the time I worked. All efforts to get them to pay me proved abortive, but rather led to threats and insults from the agency. Oh no. After much back and forth, and with prayers on this command, they made my prayer altar. They managed to pay me part of what they owed me on the 15th of March and swore not to pay the remaining. Why, why, what's the need for the swearing? On the 24th and of 25th of commanding the Demini prayer, senior pastor gave us a prophetic instruction to demand people from the people owing us via SMS. I felt rather somehow sending a message but decided to run with the instruction on the second day that the senior pastor told us again to make sure we did. Immediately after the commanded the Demini prayer on Monday, the 25th, I sent them the text as instructed in capital letters, saying, I've been empowered to tell you to pay me my money. And if you don't pay me, you will lose 10 times of what you are owing me and still pay me my money. <laughs> hey! Two hours, 35 minutes later, they responded by paying me my money without stress nor fight. Now, not only were they under pressure to pay me after the text, they pay me 10 times of what they were owing me. Eh? Ah! God indeed humbles the proud. Secondly, I have had vertigo since 2018 and kept believing God to take it away. On the commanded day, I pray prayer of 14 March, God's servant gave a decree against vertigo and ear issues leading to imbalance. I immediately claimed it for my friend with all my heart. And also sent out the link as she often complained of how bad the vertigo was affecting her and her job. Forgetting I needed the healing myself. Brethren, a week later, I discovered that I was healed. And all the symptoms I felt checked back to hell forever. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody give the Lord the praise. Declaration videos attached. For someone, before this week is out, the debtor will call you. I'm sorry for holding your money for three months, for six months, for one year. For three years, for five years, hey, my Shabbatagalagayagadalala, I declare they lose their peace, they lose their sleep, and they lose their rest until what is yours is released. But somebody here, you're not going to wait for them to call you. As the day breaks, you send them. Even this night, send them a message. Say, I am. I have been. I have been empowered to ask you for either my money or what I gave you the money for with immediate effect. And I declare they lose their peace until what is yours is released. And any of them that has a criminal mind to dupe you and defraud you, they will lose 10 times what they are trying to this, defraud this you part and yet still return you still your added money. to the test. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over Nistagmos. I take authority over Vetaigo. I take authority. Let Opira Tangana Galaga. Every problem with balance, you are unable to walk straight on a straight line. I Abahushata dizziness, Lata Palaga, affecting you from the from the from the ear, the middle ear. I command it broken right now. In the name of Jesus. Give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise. What I wanted you to know is. And if you don't pay, if they don't, if you don't pay me, you will lose ten times what you are owing me, and still pay me later. That was my own declaration. It wasn't part of what I said they should add to the text. Did you did you notice that? But they added that to the text, <laughs> and that put the people under intense pressure. All right, go on to the next one. Sister G. Matthew, I'm here to redeem my vow of thanksgiving today. Good Lord for his acts. I purchased some properties in 2021. The transaction was seamless. However, in January 2024, I began to feel the leading to reach out to my property agent to make a specific inquiry regarding my properties. I kept on ignoring it, but eventually did. I contacted the agent, and after a few conversations, I was informed that the estate where I pursued, I purchased the properties had been seized by a government agency in Nigeria due to the company's inability to register or obtain a certain business license. I was offered half of the quantity of the property I had purchased, but I wanted more than what they were offering because I thought I was at a loss. 
I've been presenting it to God and I commanded him in my prayer from January this year to see what God will say. Just two weeks ago, I realized that the value of properties I was being offered at the second estate is worth more than in extra millions of naira based on the location than what I had paid for at the first estate at the time and even presently. Thankfully, we began the reallocation of the property on Thursday, March 28, 2024, and everything went smoothly to the glory of God. Secondly, that is, they gave a smaller property somewhere which was costlier than what they paid for earlier on. Now, secondly, on Friday, 16 February 2024, after a shower, I started feeling an itchy sensation on my skin. I noticed my skin would swell whenever I scratched it, so I lifted up the part of my hand that scratched that was swelling. And I told the rashes and the swelling condition of my skin, I don't know what you are, but you will return the same way you came because the Bible never recorded that Jesus suffered from any illness, allergies, or skin reactions. And in February 20, 20 to 21, 2024, commanded him in a prayer, the senior pastor, Dr. Paul Enenche, declared that God is healing someone of a crocodile skin and every skin infection. I claimed it and screamed, Amen. That same week, I realized that the rashes and swelling were all checked back to hell. Thirdly, one of my clients, Suma, had rendered my services to his company in Ohio in November 2023, suddenly stopped resp responding to my messages after I emailed a copy of his invoice he had requested for earlier so he could make his payment. I even sent another message telling him that I can offer him a discount if the fee was on the high side, even though I knew this person could afford it, but he had no response. So I decided to commit it to God, and he commanded him in a prayer altar and not contact him again in February. He reached out to me by himself, asking for my payment details. I sent it over, and he was in a hurry to make the payment. My kingdom obligations and vows have been redeemed. All the glory to God Almighty. God bless you all, saints of God. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a praise. Everyone owing you shall come under pressure like that. In Jesus' name, declaration attached. God is healing somebody again of crocodile skin and every form of skin infection where your body is peeling, you sleep, and you wake up in the morning healed and whole in the name of Jesus. Give the Lord a praise. All right, Sister T.D. from Parhakot. Above only that is my place. I've come to give glory to God for healing me through the prophetic declaration of in the command of the Deminal prayer of March 14, 2024. I've been unable to urinate without the help of a catheter for several weeks now due to the huge mass behind my bladder after a hysterectomy as a result of uterine and endometrial cancer. Oh. Since then, I wear a catheter with urine bag everywhere I go, even to sleep. To the glory of God, after the declaration in the command of the Deminal prayer of March 14, where Dr. Pastor Paul and Encher brutally declared against cancer and declared that the kidney, blood, and urethra are working. And to check yourself in the morning, I immediately claimed the declaration. And when I woke up in the morning, I removed the catheter and started urinating by myself. I am so overjoyed. Thank you, Jesus. God bless everyone on this prayer altar. Amen. Give the Lord a praise and let's see the declaration. Somebody say a loud amen. That kidney is working. That bladder is working. The ureters are working. I take authority over obstruction. That's right. You are carrying a, a urinary catheter because of obstruction. Whether it's an obstruction of a, pro, a, a prostatic enlargement or obstruction from stricture. Today is the end of that obstruction. In the name of Jesus, supra pubic catheter from the up here down someone else because the urine can't come to the normal side. Right now, I announce that as you wake up in the morning, you will be shocked at the miracle that will happen. That God supernaturally repaired the structure and repaired the urethra. You believe that shall the Lord say amen. What a faithful God. Give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise. Stand up on your feet and let's celebrate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Celebrate. What a God who can never fail. You don't know what it means to fail. Everything on the earth may but you can
You don't know what it means to you, fool. Everything on the end may be fake. But you can never ever fool. You don't know what it means to fail. Everything on the end may fail. But you can Lift your hands and give him the praise, give him the honor, give him the adoration. Let's go before God, appreciate him for what we have received, and then we shall begin to present our supplications. Time I don't know what to do. I don't cast all of my cares upon you. I cast all of my cares upon you. In the name of Jesus, lift up your two hands everywhere you are, receive.
I stand in all of you. I stand. I stand in all of you. I stand in all of you. I stand. I stand. Lift your hands everywhere you are. I stand by the authority and the mantle of God on my life tonight. I decree the unveiling of every mystery. Anything that is mystery, that is mysterious. Whatever is responsible for any misery around your life. Whatever is responsible for any hidden battle, secret battle. Whatever is responsible for every frustration, delay. Whatever is responsible for doing the right scriptural action. But not seeing the scriptural result. Whatever, whatever is responsible for the spell of shame. For the spell of reproach and disgrace. Whatever is making your spiritual life to be a contradiction, to be inexplicable, I stand by the mantle of God tonight. I say that mystery is unraveled and revealed, dissolved, and unraveled, dissolved, dismantled, and solved. Tonight, God visit you and change your story. In the name of Jesus. Lift your two hands. Someone moved into a new house. Congratulations for moving into a new house. And many more people are moving into new houses in this season. But I announced to that particular person. The enemy is trying to confront you with, 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 with frustration. Instead of celebration in a new house. I don't know what the frustration is all about. Whether it's a litigation or whatever it is, I decree today on my Hoshata Kalaga or witchcraft activity, whatever it is that you are facing as a frustration on stepping on a very hostile occultic neighbor, I declare today that frustration is arrested right now in the name of Jesus. Somebody else, you got something new. You are meant to enjoy it, but all of a sudden it's giving you a lot of frustration. Maha Shataka, a new piece of equipment, a new car, a new house, whatever it is, something new. I see one whose name starts with an I H E. Leke Perota I H E. And there is an O also towards the end of the name that is in this category. Along thousands of others. Every satanic agenda that is giving you frustration in the place of celebration, that agenda is arrested in the name of Jesus. I saw somebody whose head was barbed overnight. Some, somewhere in the middle of, the, of your head. You woke up and the hair has disappeared. Every devil tempering with your glory. I declare that devil is arrested, sent back to hell. In the name of Jesus. The same way it, it disappeared overnight. In the same way it shall reappear overnight. In the name of Jesus. Somebody's genotype is changing from AS to AA. From AC. To AA, I take authority. Let the feet accuse Galakanana. Let the, yes, you are trusting God for this to change so that you don't have any complications maritally. I declare it is clearing as you go this morning. It has changed from AS to AA. It has changed from AC to AA in the name of Jesus. I see God healing Bitha Thalassemia in the name of Jesus. Clear out of the system. In the name of Jesus. By the name of beauty. And the enemy wants you to experience ugly. But that shall not be your portion. Like the man at the beautiful gate. The name of the gate was beautiful. But his situation was ugly. 
people were moving around him, but he was stagnant. I take authority over that spell around that beauty. Name beauty. Mahashada Galaya. The spell, the spell of stagnation and delay. Arrested, arrested progress. Like a patalita. Everybody and everything around you is moving, but your life is on a standstill. Detained by the devil. Maritally, spiritually, financially. I declare that your kiss broken. Go forward. And everyone here that is connected to this altar, no devil can detain your destiny. No devil can detain your marital destiny. No devil can detain your financial destiny. I declare your release now. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is releasing a Moses' mantle. Are you ready to receive this? This is the mantle to deal with the devils that dealt with your father's house. That dealt with your family. A Moses' mantle. The mantle to go and seek the, sink the Pharaoh. Sink the Pharaoh. Sink the Pharaoh. Sink the Pharaoh. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. That family, that community of wickedness. We are nobody's meant to rise or lift up their head. And God is releasing you there to lift, to pull the others out of poverty. Pull them out of captivity. Pull them out of premature death. Receive a mantle now. There is a literal Moses that God is, is giving this mantle and this grace to. Lahu shata frena talayana. The devil has tried to attack your body yourself with the same kind of affliction that killed others. And I speak to you right now. Not only is God going to deliver you, but God is going to give you the mantle to rescue the remaining of the people and, and, and give you the mantle to bring them out of empty handedness and poverty. Somebody shout glory! I see God breaking the spell of barrenness. Barrenness that has lasted for a long time. It's broken. God is giving the visitation of, a, of Hannah. Somebody who has, who has, Hama ha ta 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 ta. Somebody who has asked God for a child with a vow. Leke saparata sana gaya la 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 Somebody who is going to give birth to a prophet, a child that is anointed. God has shown to you in Revelation that the child of your womb is great, but there has been delays. I am shatter helder man. I am here to announce to you that that spell is broken. And God is speaking to someone with a literal Hannah name, a literal Hannah, just like Hannah. But this is a sign to somebody. You are feeling a malarious sign right now. Right in your body, you are just feeling malarious right now. Just go and do a pregnancy test. It is confirmed that you are pregnancy positive. You are still praying to God for the fruit of the womb, but you have already taken it without your notice. I declare, go forth and break forth. Today, it is confirmed. And everyone trusting God for the fruit of the womb, the embassy. Bago is lifted. Go and bring forth your children in the name of Jesus Christ. That left knee arthritis is healed. That left hip is healed. Somebody with a very massive scrotal enlargement. I don't know what it is from, but you literally actually walk to the legs apart because of that massiveness of the growth in the scrotal area. I declare that it is cursed. Whether I say hydrocele or whether it is in you know, scrotal hyena, whatever is there, I declare it cursed. I declare divine intervention now. In the name of Jesus. So many people in this category, but I see a bright in that category with an affliction on this crotal area, bright. I curse it to be healed, and you shall testify in the name of Jesus. Father, give a visitation to goodness. The pit, the dog for you, you'll not be buried inside. You have seen yourself and seen a pit that a dog like a pit of death. You will not be buried inside goodness. You will not be buried inside goodness. And I prophesy to everyone here connected around the world. Every pit of death they have dug for you. Those who dug it shall be buried inside. I see somebody standing behind the coffin and they're asking you to enter. I said, that is with your eyes open, with your feet on the floor. I declare today, those who put that coffin there, they shall be buried inside that coffin. I declare, they shall be buried inside that coffin. Somebody shout glory. Shout glory. 
Shout glory! I see a driver that stole a vehicle, drove off with a vehicle, or organized the stealing of a vehicle, a driver. Master Kolabai, and I was given the name, but I will hold. Now, but I prophesy today, whichever person, wherever you are, you, you, a driver drove off with a vehicle or organized for the theft of the same vehicle that he drives. Latter sitata, I declare that they are put under pressure under the next, the next, the next five to seven days. They are put under pressure, and what was stolen is recovered, and you shall testify with the picture of the vehicle. Shout the loudest, say Amen. Lift your hands and give him the praise. Every song. Oh, yeah. I heard someone singing that song from the, 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 the Ghana area, led to Sefrata Sanagala. And it looks to me like you sang that song not too long before this prayer tonight. In the name that is above every name, I announce to you today there is something that you are pursuing and expecting for God to deliver it to your hands. It will enter your hands in a, in a, in a matter of days, and you are going to sing this song and celebrate God again. In the name of Jesus Christ, it's entering your hands. Every money that, that is tied down is released in your hand. The letter is released, the appointment is released, the contract is released. And I speak to everyone expecting a later, expecting a financial release, expecting a contract. It is entering your hands now. That singing was a sign to you to let you know that God heard you worshiping in advance of what you are expecting. And you are going to worship with this same song again when that expectation is met. Lift your hands and worship him. Lift your hands and honor him. Lift your hands and adore him. Magnify him. Tonight, somebody is entering into a season of celebration. Again, within the first seven days of April, massive, mighty miracles of employment, open doors, and divine interventions. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Anywhere you are around the world in need of surrender to Jesus, pray this prayer with me as you place your hand on your chest and say after me, Lord Jesus, those in need of surrender to Jesus. Lord Jesus, I am a sinner in need of your help. Come into my life and make me a new person. Today I have decided to follow you, Lord, no turning back. Forward, never, backward, never. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. You pray that prayer, you meant it, let us know that you did. Stretch your two hands now, everyone. I prophesy upon your hands. I declare your harvest will look for you. In the name of Jesus, what is yours, no devil can keep back. I declare it done in the name of Jesus. Somebody say a loud amen. Somebody say a loud amen. Somebody say a loud amen. Shout the loud most amen. Hallelujah. Go ahead and honor God with your tithes and offerings and, and pledges. All of us in the United Kingdom, <laughs> the days are counting and it's going to be a season of revival, very intense and heavy manifestation of the glory of his presence. Don't miss it for any reason. People are coming from all over Europe, from all over the the world actually from nigeria they are going from america from canada from everywhere they are coming don't miss it ensure that you are, you are registered ensure that you register as volunteers register as participant and the details are on the screen if in case you don't know how to go about the registration it is right on the screen for you god bless you in jesus name tomorrow is vengeance night it's vengeance against the forces of wickedness the forces that are behind the mysteries vengeance night invite your friends invite your loved ones at times pharaoh need to die before israel can be free at times herod need to die before the word of god can explode in acts chapter 12. vengeance night against the forces of hell ensure you are there god bless you in jesus precious name somebody say aloud amen 2024 above only and above only where is your place and above only. God bless you. Go ahead, celebrate. It's raining right now very heavily at the Glory Dome area. And I believe that the rain of blessing is upon you wherever you are. 
divine visitation and refreshing is your portion in Jesus' name. Go ahead, celebration. Oh, 